right, guys, so I'm doing something a little different, a little zany, a little out of the box. I'm showing off some Master Duel replays of one of my favorite decks of all time, my Akashi. I quit Master Duel Cold Turkey a while ago, and I said I'd play again if they banned Maxi. And lo and behold, Maxi is still completely free. So I'm not making a full return just yet. That said, though, they got an event based on synchros and links where they did actually ban Maxi. So I decided, why not? I'll play my Akashi. Annoy a bunch of people with Adaki coming back endlessly. Have a bit of fun, and I thought it might be nice to share some of the more interesting games with you guys so without further ado it's time to do, 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 do. what does my akashi do differently in in master duel as opposed to duel links if you watch the my akashi advanced guide well in duel links we can just cheat the synchro process by sending all the synchros to the grave we can't do that here so we do have to go through literally the entire combo here Daki's gonna come back it's gonna be very annoying for the opponent very fun for us Daki's gonna keep coming back but the deck does actually have a couple of things different first of all we've got the trap card um shirinui and my akashi saga basically you tribute a shirinui or my akashi synchro or link to make it so basically it's you skip the opponent's turn basically you don't actually but it just makes it so your opponent can't special summon anything except for from the grave i mean it works on you too but it doesn't matter because you're just going to be summoning from grave anyway but yeah we can do a decent amount more because we do have a bigger extra deck we can do the synchro climb one and a half times so that we do have the link four as well as alongside a synchro to tribute for that trap we're not going to be able to get the trap off every single time but it it happens enough we're also going to have the same interruptions as in dual links except that we also have the interruption of the of the link four that if something is revived you can negate something in reduce it to zero gonna use that trap he can't special summon anything except from the grave this turn he's playing sky strikers i don't know if he knows what my Kashi does because he does destroy my link four here which is going to trigger my gasha doko to come back and be unaffected so i don't know what he was thinking there but it is what it is he can't special summon at all this turn so on the summon of ray i'm just going to revive the yoko and destroy it um he's still going to be able to set the widow anchor and get his field spell back on my turn i can actually use the traps grave effect to get a banished thing back into the grave which is kind of cool and then i can also revive yoko um to try to destroy back row non-targeting here he is going to chain the uh the, the widow here take my gasha dokoro so i'm going to have to deal with my own gasha dokoro but that's that's completely fine the link four gets it done for him because if i just revive something i can reduce it to zero and it's easy money i can do a little bit of combos it's just going to be so easy to attack in for game pretty much so if you go first and you can pull off the trap oh my good look at this board Daki attack Mm, Yuki Endo attack. Oh my goodness. Yoko attacking for game is just such a good feeling, bro. Alright, so we know what the deck looks like going first. We can stop the opponent from summoning things. We can interrupt them. We can follow up with a huge board. But what are we doing going second? Well, the thing is, this deck has a hell of a lot of room for hand traps. So you can just throw a whole bunch of them in there and interrupt the opponent. This is going to be the easiest ash of my goddamn life. If, if the opponent discards something, that's, that's an easy ash bait for me, bro. He's still going to be able to get that stone summon from the deck on end phase. But that's not really an issue to to be honest with you gonna veiler that so he doesn't veiler me as well it's not an unfamiliar sight for a duel links player you know what i mean blue eyes plenty of blue eyes players in duel links all the same link rebo just the same he's gonna get that jet on end phase i kind of want to have jet in duel links but maybe a bit be a bit good but you look at that i got my full combo in hand i can play through things as well drawing into an ash because obviously anyway gonna summon that daki from deck yuki musume is gonna come down to make the plays even better send in that mizuki mm -hmm. oboro garuma daki comes back gonna speed up the combo here as well going into that sushi gumo daki comes back tengu daki comes back yoko Daki comes back. If you're playing this deck in Master Duel, it is tedious. I mean, I love this deck, but the deck is tedious no matter what format you're playing it in. You just gotta like figure out whatever strategy feels best for you, because you might get Carpal Tunnel just reviving Daki all the time. But yeah, still gonna still <laughs> doing the exact same combo as always. If you don't have the Yuki Musume part of the combo, then you aren't gonna also get the the Gasha Dokoro alongside the Link plays. It's just nice to get that bonus big Bonnie on board in case we needed to tribute something for the trap or in case we want to just have more bodies on the board, you know what I mean? If we do really need that Grave Effect, then of course we can link it off and keep something else instead, you know what I mean? But um, at the end of the day, it's it's just my Akashi. To the, you know, it's my Akashi and Duel Links, my Akashi and Master Duel is very similar stuff. I love when we're going second and we can just summon the Link for Revive Daki, reduce something, then use the link three to revive something and reduce something else and just negate it it's just it's 
it's just such such nice board breaking and we just revived doko here for the flex bro we did not need to do that bro. Uh, i also do want to point out that the trap play is kind of insane so i do play three copies of that trap that Mayakashi trap and you can search for it with Mayakashi return the thing is though often like i'm doing here you kind of need to search for the hajin to get your plays going because even though you play three hajin it's not necessarily guaranteed that you're going to get it so uh, i also play the small world to get access to hajin as well most of the hand traps can act as bridges to get to your hajin if you need because it is a level one wind with like 600 attack 500 defense which is so all you need to do is like banish like uh ash or something which is a zombie so that counts for that the other one being a effect veiler because it's level one and it shares nothing else with a hajin it's a, that's just small world math bro nobody wants to think about that anyway but yeah most of the time we're not even going to be able to get that trap play off just because we need to be able to get that hajin for our plays so if konami could release like any other search card in this deck that would be absolutely fantastic but yeah he's going to be using sword soul tenyi here unfortunately for him i don't think he's very good at the tenyi portion that's actually kind of a funny thing about a lot of players of master duel is that they don't know tenyi like us duel links players do they know uh sword soul just fine it's just they need to be a little bit better than that um but yeah i know how to stop all their other things um so they can they can get a couple things going but i'm i'm all right still at the end of the day he's activating cards and grave that means i I can negate him i don't think he knows that because i don't think he's reading my cards but that's just Yu-Gi-Oh players isn't it he activates even though he's negated i don't think he knows what he's doing but he does have the draco here he's also got raigeki what a nice top deck but anyway um i am gonna be able to just survive at the very least because i did reduce him enough uh and that's that's all i need i got the return in hand and of course i draw into another return because why wouldn't i i send the winter so that i can banish itself to get myself the link four back mm -hmm. now i can use yuki musume my my plan was to reduce him to force him to banish me so that my other things can be revived so that i actually get the effects that i'm actually trying to get you know what i mean so i am not going to have lethal exactly but i mean I, I i got some pretty good stuff regardless he's just gonna scoop it up though so all right so my hand is is not amazing i do at least have the return to give me the hajin and that at the end of the day it is full combo but he does ash me and that kind of sucks we do play the cold buy and the cross out for that but if we don't open those then we can't play through ash that well i mean i'm playing i'm playing the game here but in duel links we we would be able to play through ash we using yuki musume really easily is it's just we can't get the synchros in grave so all i can really set up is the yuki Ona. but i do have a couple of infinite impermanences and i thought that this was kind of funny because he put his black whirlwinds in my imperm columns for some reason so when he summons the samoon even though samoon isn't activating an effect i'm still gonna imperm him so that I can negate his whirlwind. And when he summons another monster, I'm gonna negate that one too, to negate his feather whirlwind. I mean, I'm technically negating your monster too, but the important thing is, I've got two imperm columns active right now. And I got an effect Valor. I don't even know if I should have Valor that anyway. I mean, I think that was probably redundant, but I used it anyway and uh it, it is what it is i mean he keeps activating despite the fact that he's negated and i do find that kind of funny but activating a card in grave i can reduce him he does he summons a card from grave again so i can reduce him again he goes into black wings dragon he attacks in boom i don't have any synchros but that's all right so i can't revive but still um i just have to really hope i get something good but i do have yuki musume in grave and a Daki on board i send a mizuki and boom we're automatically in business look at that we're gonna just be obnoxious to him all game long now because that's basically my akashi's win condition is just be obnoxious to the opponent Daki comes back Daki comes back Daki comes back probably the most annoying thing the opponent has ever faced but i don't feel bad for any of my opponents at all because they're playing the max c game so they kind of signed up for this kind of bullshit but anyway reviving my link four in battle phase just in case of nibiru you can revive during the battle phase if you wanted revive that yoko negates and reduce and destroy he's he's not having it he's scooping it up ggs all right looks like we finally got somebody who enjoys the game it's so annoying seeing most players that just have the basic standard playmat it's really annoying because it's like bro you like you don't don't you like the game but anyway he's playing ice jade to be honest 
I don't know a damn thing about this deck, okay? I can read what he's doing, but there are some of the effects I didn't quite understand upon the first. But anyway, opening Mizuki is rough too, but I got Monster Reborn. But I don't think that this is going to be all that helpful. I'm going to use Return. He's going to negate it by destroying one of his guys. So now I know that this thing negates something by destroying one of his things. So I'm going to negate his card activating Engrave. But anyway, Oberogurma, Daki comes back, except it doesn't come back. He's banishing it. Unfortunate for me. I am going to be at least able to survive uh but he's gonna feather duster my cross out here attack into me um it's not it's not looking good bruv but i do have yuki musume because i top deck another uh another return so i'm gonna summon yuki musume send my second daki normal summon mizuki go into my link three to negate him to bait out that banish that he does so he's banished but now i can revive daki mizuki revive my synchro three and now it's time to be annoying because that's the, that's what we do around here bro that's what we do that's the game plan so we're just gonna annoy this guy the goal is to go into our link four here so that we can negate him and reduce him to zero attack um to make it going for game easy i don't think we're going to be able to set up lethal at the moment but we are going to be able to get most of the way there we're gonna have interruptions we're gonna have field presence you know what i mean Daki comes back getting into that last copy of the link three i think i think that's the last copy Daki comes back finally going into the link four Daki comes back triggering the link four to reduce him using one of my many link threes to bring back the tengu destroy that back row going in going in going in going into the link two so i can get my uh my guy in grave again in case i wanted to revive on his turn to get rid of a back row he's just gonna you know what i mean you know what i mean bruh hey why they gotta hate on me I done got me a quarter million views and they still saying they low key. They ain't wanna come work with the kid, but I'm flexing with Zay on beats. How they ask for a spot at the gym, but they leave all the weight on me. I don't ask them to wait on me. They would ask where they gonna be. With a song if they wanted the weatherman, I ain't asking to pay no fees. She was homeless and needed a spot. I ain't ask her to pay no lease. I ain't ask her to say no please. I ain't ask her to make no cheese. Scream fake, but it ain't on me. Got clean so it ain't no streets. Why green if it ain't no keeps? Brought cream so it ain't no beef. My team say it ain't no chief. My demon they hang on me. They seemingly ain't no peace. I seen him he ain't no beast. For real.